What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a great day today. You guys already know what's going on. We're back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 12 with this Kyogre and Solgaleo team. You guys know the deal as well. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and get on top of that. I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Adam for actually leaving this team before we get started with today's team preview. He, let, he tweeted him at me. Sent me his team over on my Twitter page. I was just like, yo, let's get rocking with it. It has Snorlax. It has Life Orb Tornadus. Really, really cool. But that leaves me to say, if you guys aren't following my Twitter page or want to send me rental codes, go down link in the description below. Follow my Twitter page. DM me. Tweet me. Whatever you guys have to do, send me your rental codes. I love getting them from you guys. I love talking to you guys over there as well. So if you guys are interested in that, Jeans YouTube over on Twitter. But something that I wanted to do instead of just like the same old intro every single time is start talking to you guys personally, letting you guys know like channel updates, start talking about like what's going on in my life, all that good stuff. And first and foremost, don't worry about my room. My room's an absolute mess. I'm packing for a trip. Don't worry about that. Don't bust on your boy jeans. But um, another thing I want to talk about was question of the day because this is actually like a recent thing that just happened. I just got a new logo and I just got a new banner. I was working with a uh, the graphic designer for like a month or two and we came out with this idea and it was awesome and it's finally done. So if you guys want to do me a favor, go check out my new logo, go check out my new banner and let me know in the comment section down below your guys thoughts because in my opinion, it came out fire. It came out so good, which I'm super excited for and cannot wait to do it. Uh, Cannot wait to like work with that because I want to make like new intros for that. I want to make like all different stuff with that. So I'm definitely super excited for that. Another thing I want to talk about before the team preview was new content coming along this way or plans for my channel, I should say. So for the summertime, I want to do a Nuzlocke, a Pokemon Nuzlocke on Gen 3. I think that could be a ton of fun. I feel like you guys would definitely enjoy that. And another thing I want to do is get rolling with Mario Strikers Battle. It comes out, I think, like June 10th, June 10th-ish, I believe. Which is going to be a lot of fun. I want to do live streams of that, online competitive battles on my YouTube channel, and all that good stuff. So if you guys are interested in all that, just go follow my Twitch page, subscribe here, all that good stuff. But with all that out of the way, let's get started with today's team preview. Starting off with Kai Ogre over here. In that top left corner, we got Drizzle, Assault Vest, and then everything else is rather normal. The Origin Pulse, Ice Beam, Thunder, Water Spout. You guys do not need to know too much about that. Confi over here is a great little support mod with Triage and Leftovers. Floor Healing, Draining Kiss, Protect and Ally Switch. To protect Ally Pokemon, Heal Ally Pokemon, and do a little bit, bit of damage with its first turn priority move, Draining Kiss. Middle left is going to be Tornadus. Not just any Tornadus. We got ourselves a Life Orb Tornadus. So this Pokemon is going to be solid in a Dynamax form and can roll out pretty strong. We got Prankster, Life Orb, Sludge Bomb, Tailwind, Hurricane, and Icy Wind. So it still has that speed control factor, but can do some big damage alongside of that. Fourth Pokemon on squad is Indeedy. Normal Indeedy. I, don't, I do not really want to talk about to it too much because, you know, everything is normal. It's that Expanded Force support moveset with a Psychic Surge and Psychic Seeds. Bottom left-hand corner is Solgaleo. And Solgaleo is mwah, such a good Dynamax Pokemon. Really good all around. It's got the full metal body. We his policy as item, which is probably the best item for that Pokemon. And then it's Rock and Sun Seal Strike, Rock Slide, EQ, and Protect. Final Pokemon on the squad is a Gen 1 favorite. We got Snorlax over here. Thick Fat, Citrus Berry, Steel Roller, Brick Break, Yawn Recycle. Really do like it. It can outbulk some Pokemon. It can play the late game. It can put Pokemon to sleep. It can do it all. Guys, you want to try out Steam for yourself? Not the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Kyogre, Solgaleo, and Snorlax team. Let's get rolling here in battle number one, going up against a Sassy and Kyogre team, alongside with a bunch of really strong meta Pokemon. He's got Tornadus, he's got Landorus, and he's also rocking with that Regilect. And Rillaboom. Like I said, heavy meta Pokemon. Let's rock out. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But how should we go into this? How should we play? I feel like Kyogre is super, super good. Kyogre could be nice with like Tornadus, or I can go with Comfy. With the Soul Fest, we can constantly heal. We can kind of roll out from there. I do kind of dig that. Or we can just go straight into Tornadus, because Tornadus isn't too shabby. Tornadus isn't shabby. He can actually do some damage on a few of these Pokemon, and he can have speed control. So yeah, we're going to go Kyogre, we're going to go Tornadus, and then we're going to bring Solgaleo in the back. And last but not least, do we go like Comfy and Didi, or do we just bring Snorlax? Snorlax isn't too shabby. I do like Snorlax. I wish he had like Body Slam or something on him. It should be really, really nice. We do have Steel Roller. Hmm. We do have Steel Roller. Not bad. We're going to need Terrain on the field. So if he has Grass Terrain, we kind of roll out with that. We do have Brick Break. We can break some screens. You on Recycle. I just roll off from that. But um, it is a G-Max Snorlax as well. It is a G-Max Snorlax. I'm kind of leaning towards maybe like a Pokemon like Comfy. I don't know why. I feel like Comfy could be nice. Heal up some Pokemon. Kind of go from there. Now I switch. Yeah. Or, now, nah, you know what? I'm going to go into an Indeedee. Just because he has that roll boom. In case he wants to go into, like, say, like, terrain. Kind of get me rolling. Maybe I can counteract it late game. And go into my own terrain. So, I'm really liking that. I'm really liking that. But, let's grab ourselves someone here in battle number one. I don't, number one. I always like to get started off strong. It's always, it's always, it's always a good day. When I'm recording and I start off my day with a victory in Pokemon battles. It's just awesome. It is just awesome. Just make my day. He's going to go Tornadus alongside with Lando. I'm totally cool with that. 
I'm totally cool with that because I'm going to match his Tailwind energy. I'm just going to drop a nice big Origin Pulse or a Water Spell. I should be able to outspeed. Can I outspeed that thing? I should drop an Origin Pulse. Actually, I should Dynamax. I might just Dynamax. I might just Dynamax. I'm thinking about it, too. I'm thinking about just sending a, a Dynamax after a Tailwind. Skyrim Dynamax could be gorgeous. It could definitely be gorgeous. And who could he swap into? Say he wants to swap into a... Uh... I might save my Dynamax. I think I'm going to save it for Sokaleo, actually. Who's he really going to swap into? Maybe like a Boom? I'm going to drop the Origin Pulse, though. Just in case his Lando outspeeds me. We kind of go from there. But I'm just going to go here. I'm just going to drop a nice, lovely Tailwind. And we're just going to walk in. I do like that. Then we do have the Indeedee. If he wants to swap into Rollaboom, get that Grass Train, we can actually take control and kind of roll off from there. At that point, I can just drop Ice Beams. Some damage off. That's, that's really what I'm looking for here. But still, this guy's in a tough little position here. I think he's going to Dynamax Lando and go after my Kyle. Which I'm totally fine with. Definitely am fine with that. But he's going to have to Tailwind. And if he doesn't Tailwind, he's going to take some big damage. See what he does. He is going to Dynamax. So if he doesn't Tailwind and doubles down on my Kyogre, he's going to take some big damage. But I think Kyogre should be able to eat up uh, whatever this Landorus has to offer. Probably going to go for a Rockfall. Rockfall wouldn't be a bad play at all. A lovely little Rockfall. But hopefully my Kyogre outspeeds. That could be gorgeous. That could be gorgeous if Kyogre can outspeed. But I don't think it can. I think it's, I think it's going to be a little close, but I think Landorus is a tad bit faster. We shall see. Tailwind comes out. Maybe he's not going for a Tailwind. If he's not going for a Tailwind, that could be amazing. Let's see what he does gonna go for a taunt okay dude i'm with it all day so we won the speed tie we got off for tailwind we're thriving here origin pulse gonna fly through here chip up some big damage look at that damage look at that damage if we water spout they both would have been dead but it's all good he's gonna drop a quake we have speed right now he's probably gonna tailwind this turn totally fine but we should be able to soak that up right yeah dang dude if we could see but it is good it is good that we didn't go for a water spout because if he would have tailwind and we would have went for a water spout and he outsped us then uh we would have did water spout damage with 19 each would have been rough. Would have been rough. But that thing's on one. Uh, we could swap, but there's really no point. We're going to go for an Origin Pulse again. And from here, I think what's called should be fast on the field. My Tornadus. Let's see. How fast is he? 179. Yeah, it's definitely faster than Atlantis. You know what? I'm going to target down. I am going to target down. Actually, let's do this. Let's do this. Higher accuracy. I do not want to miss an Origin Pulse. We're just going to target down this uh this Landers. 100% accuracy with Hurricane. That's my move on. That is my move all day. He's going to go first. He's going to send a Tailwind. We should still be faster than him. I really like that. And we should kind of roll off from here. Because, yeah, Hurricane's going to poke. Yeah, bang. And then Ice Beam's going to fly across. That's a big time double kill. Big time double kill. And your boy still has his Dynamax. We love it. We love it. Solid start to this battle. He is going to have Tailwind for one extra turn than us. But that's totally fine. But we could have we could have been in a tough spot if he won the uh, speed tie. I mean, it probably was a speed tie, right? Because we're both tanks here. If he would have won the speed tie and taunted me before I could get my tail one off, that could have been a huge problem. Definitely could have been a huge problem, but we pick up the kills that way. We're thriving out. My, my boy hits pretty hard, too. My Tornadus. So, hopefully he can outspeed some Pokemon and we can get off uh, some KOs. But he's going to go in the roll beam here. And I think I just change up terrain, right? I think I just change up terrain. Save Kyogre for the back end. Because without that terrain, that roll boom's kind of kind of buns, yo. Kind of buns. Oh, wait, did I bring the Confi? I think I brought... No, I brought the Ndidi, right? I, sw I swapped last second. I think I swapped last second. That could be really solid for us. Now I can just go near. Yeah, I did. This little Psychic Seed rolling. Change that terrain. And then I can just drop a Hurricane if we can land it. But I think Zassian's just going to outspeed us and kind of come after us. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Because I still have Solgaleo in the back end. Solgaleo can win. He can do some work up against a Zassian for sure. Up against a Zassian. We love it. We love it. So we're going to change up this terrain. We're going to say Real Boom. Just knock it off. We're not dealing with your stuff. Not doing weird stuff. So, Roboom cannot swap out. There's no way he can get terrain back up. That's huge for us. So, good thing I did bring Indeedee in the back. And that was my one thing. I, I was going to bring Comfy or like uh, Snorlax. But I was just like, wait a minute. He has a Roboom. We're definitely going to want to change up the terrain. So, I'm with that all day. We're going to pop into our Indeedee. We could start going for follow -mees. We can kind of roll from there. But I'm liking this. Fake out's going to come in hot. And now we have the terrain. That's huge. That's huge. Behemoth Blade is going to fly through here. He's got to be taking out Kyogre, right? Or no, that's got to be going after uh, Tornadus, right? Eat this up, Tornadus. I don't think he can. Yeah, no. That's rough. But still, now we can just Dynamax go into follow me. Kind of right? Or I can just go into Kyogre here. Why just go into Kyogre? All the rain's still going? They have no double-hitting moves. They have no double-hitting moves. So you know what? I am going to go into Kyogre here. They have no double-hitting moves. I can follow me a lot of these shots. I'm with it all day. Follow me. Then, uh, do we just 
Origin Pulse? Yeah, Origin Pulse is probably my best bet. Get off some damage onto that Zacian. Kind of go from there. Kind of just go from there. Like I said, I still have my Solgaleo. I still have my Dynamax. I think we should be fine, but still, I might have misplayed this just a tad bit. I think maybe I should have went to my Solgaleo at this point. Right? Robum's going to protect. That's totally fine. It's dead to, that's 100% fine by me. We're just going to follow me this shot. And we're just going to drop an Pulse and get off some damage onto that uh, Zacian. Then I can follow me again. And get off of maybe another Origin Pulse. Blade's going to fly here. We're chilling with that. We're fine with that. That's what's good about Zacian. Or not Zacian. Uh, Solgaleo in this situation. He can just... What? That thing one-tapped me? Wow. But uh, he can just outbulk a lot of Zacian stuff. Wow, dude. That thing destroyed me. That thing destroyed me. But we're going to go here. And now he posts another threat. I'm kind of with that. That's totally fine. But Origin Pulse is going to po poke out here. It's going to do some damage on the Zacian. Thrive and chip up some damage onto that. And now I can just drop another Origin Pulse and bring out my boy and roll out. But he was only doing that uh, Protect just to get uh, more speed on him. I do not have Protect on my Kyogre. So, we're Dynamaxing. We're going to get buzzing. And I'm shiny. And I'm and I'm nice and red. And I'm nice and red. Okay, so from here, he could Protect the what's I think I'd rather Steel Spike. Just get a Defensive Boost. But he might Protect Zacian. If he does, he does. That's totally fine. We should drop Origin Pulse. Get the Defense Boost and just outbulk our, our Solgaleo at this point. I think all we have to do is use Steel Spikes and we should have this battle in the in the bag, yo. In the bag. Even though he is rocking Sacred Sword and that does, uh, it will do the same amount of damage as we can, but, but at this point, we can just take out Sassy. Even though I do think he's protected. It's all good. Rillaboom can't really do too much. Though. Really the Rillaboom. But yeah, play this one nice and slow. Beginning of the battle, we kind of just like, we, we, we decide not to Dynamax, which was great. Drop an Origin Pulse, get some damage off with our Tornadas, pick up two early kills, and then play the late game. That's my plan with this one the whole time. Get that late game rolling. We saved our Dynamax for, like, legit the last turns, and it's working out perfectly. That's why, like, I feel like Dynamaxing, sometimes if you Dynamax too early, you can, you can really do you dirty. I feel like winning in this game is more about, like, knowing when to Dynamax your Pokemon, because that is, like, the heart and soul of this generation is Dynamaxing. So, like, if you know when to Dynamax your Pokemon at, at the right times, it's your, it's your best bet of winning. Your best bet of winning. He's gonna drop a play rough. He's gonna go into. He's gonna outspeed me, Grass Guy. We're gonna steal spike. We're gonna take out Zacian, and then it's just gonna be a one v one with a defensive boost. So Galio, that's GG's. That is GG's. Your boys starting off the day with a victory for you guys. That is lovely. That is lovely. Look at that. Get him. Get him on out of here, Zacian. Get on out of here. Victory hydration tip. Speaking of hydration, you guys went ten percent off Rogue Energy. I got you guys. Link down in the description below. Code short circuit. Check it out, hit that up, get you guys 10% off. And if you guys do end up picking up some Rogue Energy, let me know in the comment section down below what flavor. And we also have Acquire. We also have Acquire, 5% off Acquire. Code Short Circuit, link is down in the description below. We got Short Circuit Gaming Merch. I actually got some on, on the way for me, so you guys can actually see me rocking it. So if you guys are interested in that, like I said, 5% off. Link is down in the description below. We got it. We got all the all the, all the cool links down in the description below. Still Spike's going to fly through here. That should be, it's not going to KO, but still, it's going to it's gonna do a good amount of yeah, and then we're defensive boost. I'm surprised this guy stayed in. Surprised this guy stayed in like he could beat me. Like he could beat me. He has high horsepower. And thank you, sir, for procking my policy. And you're just asking for a whooping. I'm plus 2 on defense, plus 2 on attack, plus 2 on special attack. Even though special attack don't matter, it's still over with. We'll drop another shield spike. I think our opponent runs the battle. And we take this one 1 0, right? We get the victory. Just give me the victory. Cancel the battle. Thank you very much. He doesn't cancel the Yo, who is this guy? Who is this guy? Get him on out of here. I hope we kill him through protect. Get him on out of here. Get him on out of here. Protect don't matter. GG's 1-0 for today's video. First battle went perfectly. Let's hop into our second. Look to go back to back. Going up against a Kyogre and Ho-Oh team with Faramosa. Probably speed swap Faramosa with Whimscott, Grimmsnarl, and Incineroar. All right, jeans. How we doing this one? Sogelio Kyogre's obviously coming in here, but I might lead the Sogelio this I don't want to bring Snorlax as well. Snorlax can definitely be fun. Snorlax could definitely be fun. He has no terrain, so I don't think MD is much needed. I think Tornadus is great. I might go Tornadus and Kyogre again. That's a solid little lead, you know? Just solid all around. I do dig it. We can do a lot of work up against a lot of these Pokemon. It's either Tornadus and Solgaleo or Tornadus and Kyogre. I'm leaning towards Kyogre because he can just rip. He can just rip, right? And then bring Solgaleo for Dynamax in the back end. And have Snorlax here. Because you know what? I want to show off Snorlax. Such a cool Pokemon. <laughs> Such a cool Pokemon. But I feel like its moveset's really not too viable for, like, picking up KOs. Unless you Dynamax him, right? Unless you Dynamax him. But he's here to yawn, recycle, break screens, and then destroy terrains, right? Wow, I actually could have brought Snorlax in uh, for a... Uh, what's it called? Last battle. For Ndidi. And just steel rolled out that terrain. 
Could have been pretty cool. That could have been pretty cool, but indeed he definitely came up clutch. Stop that grassy train. We changed it right away. And it actually prevented the fake out as well, which is huge up against Rollman. It's two things that use their, their terrain and their ability to use fake out. It's just, it's just money. It is just money. He's going to end up rolling into, I think, Whimsy count, right? Whimsy and Fairy Fairy. Very, very most. Okay, that's totally fine with that. Tornadus and Kyrox gonna roll out here. We're gonna set the rain. I can hurricane drop. I could Dynamax my Tornadus, but I think I'm just gonna tailwind straight off the rain. I think I'm just gonna tailwind straight off the rain, right? Get that buzz and, and then uh, let's go from there. Tailwind. All right. And then could Ice Beam. I think just a weird play. As much as I want a water spout. Do I water spout? Screw it, yo. Let's water. Let's send the water spouts, yo. We got we got a soul best. Let's send the water spouts out. Doesn't look like he has any Pokemon to really do some work on me. Let's see what he does. He's going to end up Tailwind. We're going to end up Tailwind. And Faramosa is going to go first. But I'm curious to see what Faramosa is going to do. I'm curious to see. Is it rocking a grass move? It might. Let's see what it's rocking with. Close combat's going to come in. Of course. Should have went for the Origin Pulse. Should have trusted my gut, yo. Should have trusted my gut. But still, we should be able to do a decent amount of damage to that thing now. With a special defense drop. Should have trusted my gut, yo. Origin Pulse was definitely a play. So we rip into that Faramos, so that's gorgeous. We kind of roll off in there. Okay. I'm cool with that. I could Dynamax at this point. I could definitely Dynamax. So I'm leaning towards. I am definitely leaning towards. But I'm going to Icy Wind here. Just take out you, slow down that, and then I'm going to double down. Hmm. Better play. He's just going to close combat, take me out again, right? I wish I had Protect. I wish I did have Protect. Could have swapped, but still. Worry Seed's going to come out. He's Worry Seeding me. How dare you? How dare you Worry Seed me? How dare you do that? I mean, Insomnia. Take away my Prankster. Good thing I already Tailwind. Good thing I already Tailwind. But he's going to close combat. He's going to take me out. That is ridiculous. <laughs> See, that's why I wish I had Protect. But I knew that Faramos was just going to rip into me. That's not a bad turn by him. He takes out my Kyogre. I'm going to bring out Sogilio at this point. I think he's going to get Beast Boosted, but it's dead anyway. We're just going to drop it with a lovely little Icy Wind. But good thing we don't really need Prankster anymore. We have an attacking moveset. And this thing is about to see it because we have our uh, lovely little Life Orb. And that did a lot of damage on the Whimsy. Wow, that did a lot of damage on the Whimsicott. <laughs> did a lot, dude. That did a lot. That did a lot. But I could Dynamax Tornadus, but I think we just bring out Solvelio at this point, right? Or I can yawn his next Pokemon. Because who, who do we think he's going to bring out? Who was he rocking? I forget. I, forget. I think Solvelio is going to recall, right? Well, and him. Yeah, I think Sronx is just more of like a back-end Pokemon, you know? Little back end Pokemon. We're gonna roll into our Dynamax Pokemon. He's gonna roll into Kyogre on his own. That's totally fine. That is totally fine, even though I am terrified of that thing. You know, I am terrified. I am gonna try to Icy Wind just to slow down, and I'm just gonna Dynamax. Right? Icy Wind's reply? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though I think my my, my boy Tony is down here. Then I'm just gonna drop a Max Squeak. Right into him. Not to do a lot of damage, more so just to get the special defense. Uh, yeah, this one's gonna be tough, yo. Kyogre's gonna do some work. Kyogre's definitely gonna do some work. Oh. Kyogre's too scary. That's why I, I was leaning towards bringing in Strumax, because I was thinking he was going to roll into Kyogre. And then at that point, he's probably going to Dynamax it, and I could have yawned. Yawn could have been a huge play. Because then Yawn would have been able, been forced him to swap or stay in, and then my Tornadus just goes down and we roll off from there. But I'm going to Dynamax my Solgaleo. He might not be Dynamax Kyogre, which I would love if he's not Dynamax Kyogre. I would love that. I would love it. I would love it. We're Dynamaxing our Red Lion. Right, whenever I think of Lion, I think of, uh, what's that movie called? Madagascar? <laughs> Alex the Lion, yo. Dude, the Madagascar movies, fire. So good. They're so funny, too. They're so funny. But is he going to Dynamax? He is going to die, but we outspeed. But we outspeed. That is huge. That is huge. We outspeed it. So we're going to be able to take out Wimscott for sure. We're going to be able to hit up on Kai Ogre and get a special defense boost before he even goes. So maybe my, both my Pokemon can survive, which would be huge, which would be huge. Yeah, he ends up Dynamax in this thing. Hopefully, it's not a Soul Vest. The Soul Vest soaks. He's gonna worry seed me. How dare you take off my full metal body? Give me my full metal body back. Now we can drop my stats, which is kind of annoying. But Icy Wind's gonna fly here. Take out Wimscott. Slow down Kyogre a little bit. And we are buzzing. We are buzzing. Actually, well, I shouldn't say we're buzzing because this, one, this battle is definitely gonna be a lot closer than I think it is. Uh, but we're gonna be able to drop this nice, lovely Max Quake. Not do. Not do too much damage because I do think this this guy might be a soul vest. Let's see. Yeah, that might be a soul vest right there. Now that, that that was a big bulk. He bulked that up, but that I got the special defense boost, which is more important. Probably gonna drop a nice, lovely little geyser, and he's gonna take out. You gonna go after Tornadus? I, I kind of want him to, but not really. Let's see. He does go after Tornadus, and Tornadus goes down. That that's a big damage. That is some big damage. The orb. 
It's bad. Ah, dude, I'm pretty sure it's a soul vessel, but we can go here. I'm gonna yawn into the Kyogre at this point and just target down his uh, solo Pokemon. But at this point, we're special defense boosted. And I think it's fine. And how it was gonna fly out. Oh, oh, that's a little tough. We can't drop a rock, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Change up the weather. Yawn and go out from there. Bye bye. Yawn you. Go over Citrus Berry. And then, yeah, yo, we gotta drop a rock. This weather's got to go. This weather's gotta go. And I believe uh, Solgaleo should be faster than everybody. Maybe the Ho-Oh is a tad bit faster, but I'm hoping he sends a flare into me or something. We're going to drop a rock. We are changing weather. We are changing weather, which is nice. How much damage are we going to do this thing? Kill it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Four times super effective. Ho-Oh, get on out of here. That is huge. We're going to yawn up on this Kyogre, and I think we should have this battle on lock, right? This battle should be on lockdown. So Snorlax, like I said, I brought him in the back end just to be a nice little back end support. That's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to geyser, change the weather back, but he's not going to get that uh, water boost, which is huge. Snorlax should be able to bolt this up. My boy Snorlax. And he has the Citrus Berry. So I'm going to yawn him. I'm going to recycle. We're going to go from there. <laughs> it's, it's GG's. It's GG's. A sleeping Kyogre can never beat a Snorlax. So I'm going to just put him to sleep again, and I'm going to constantly recycle my berry. Constantly recycle my berry. Get him on out of here. Night, night. Night night. So huge plays by your boy Jeans. We are starting off 2 0, which is gorgeous. Tam and Peter's out, but it don't really matter. It don't really matter. It do not really matter. But we're just gonna recycle here. Give me my berry back. How much HP we have? Ridiculous amount of HP. And then we're just gonna drop a quake. But I think our opponent cancels the battle from here, right? He knows it's over. He definitely knows it's over. If he stays in, he stays in. And he is gonna stay. He is gonna stay in. Unless he's lumberried. Lumberry would be clutch, but still. But we're totally fine with him. Special defense boost coming in hot. I could have changed weather back, but I, I just didn't. I just didn't think there was a need to, because I think he's just gonna geyser again, and uh, go from there, right? Let's see. I was gonna lightning, I'm gonna lightning over in Snorlax, and that's fine. Snorlax soaks that up all day, and I'm gonna recycle my lovely berry and eat it up again. <laughs> I would just recycle my berry. I'm gonna say, "Hey yo, let me get this berry roll. Let me get this berry roll. Recycle, baby. I love the move recycle." <laughs> It's so sick. Look at that. Found a citrus berry. Don't mind. Don't mind me. I'll just eat this mid battle. Nom nom nom. Give me my HP back. So there we go. Oh, he protected himself with that terrain. That was actually a great call. So if he doesn't go to sleep, I'm just gonna keep recycling. And I'm just keep doing damage. Like, like, like it's just game. Cycle again. Give me my berry back. And then uh, do we EQ? No, we're just gonna rock slide. Rock Slizzle. Look for flinches too. We, we do have a flinch chance with this as well. Rock Slide comes through. All right. Send it. Chipping up some damage. Give me the flinch. Oh, yes, sir. We get that flinch. And we get the berry back. And we get the berry back. We're playing so toxic with this recycle. I love it. It's so much fun, but it's, it is toxic. A great terrain switch by him. We're just going to drop a nice little Rock Slide. I think he got, he's got to cancel battle at this point. He stays in. He stays in. We Rock Slide. Give me another flinch just to be toxic. No, we don't get it. But he's going to Thunder. So okay, he's going to be able to suck it up. No problem. Plus two on special defense. Let's love it. Or, or, or are we plus three? No, we're plus two because we just rock on one time. Quick break comes to rear. And my boy Snorlax picks up the final KO. You love to see it. We just guaranteed ourselves a winning record. And I'm doing way better than I thought I would with this team. I'm absolutely lighting it up with these guys. But hopefully we can grab ourselves a perfect record. We're going up against a Xerneas and Ho-Oh team with Porygon 2, Incineroar, Tapu Koko, and the boy Landorus. Okay, um, he... Has that Xerneas? Xerneas is always scary, right? Xerneas is definitely always scary. We could actually go in DD just to block the fake outs and then roll out with Solgaleo because he doesn't have a follow me Pokemon. And I'm really leaning towards that because, again, I do not want him setting up with that Xerneas. So I think that's a solid turn for us. I really do like it. We block Intimidates. We are four times super effective with Rockfall on the Ho-Oh. We are super effective onto the, that Xerneas, onto the Incineroar, onto the top of Coke. Everybody except for the Porygon 2 were super effective again. So Solgaleo, I think we're Dynamaxing right off the rip. We have a Simon Kyrie in the back end. And I think I want to have some fun with this. Actually, no, we're going to bring Tornadus. I was going to say, we're going to bring Tornadus, but Tornadus is so good with the Life Orb. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, dude. This team. Fire. Love it. Love it. Definitely a lot of fun, too. It's something, it's something totally different. The Stormlax, you got the uh, the Life Orb on the Tornadus, which we never see. It's just a lot of fun. It's just a lot of fun to use uh, different teams like this. Different teams like this. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Da -da -boom -boom. We got two is going to come out here. On side of Tensinor. That's fine. Cakewalk. What are you popping the trick room? Dynamax. Dynamax. I'm going to Dynamax. This guy could potentially party shot. Uh, do I follow me? Do I follow me? I don't know if I follow me here. I might just go into an expanded force. Even though, wait, does it not affect it? It won't affect it, anymore. I don't think it, it might not affect PZ or P2. Not P2. Full Metal Bodies can come out here with Thrive with that. Intimidate, get on out my face. 
He's gonna trace me though. He's gonna take my full metal. How dare you? How dare you take my full metal body like that? But yeah, I could go for an expanded force. I know it has no effect, but still we can damage up some P some P2. And then I could just go into uh here. Actually, let's go into Rock Ball. Just in case he wants to swap in a ho oh here. Right? Just in case he wants to predict me going into a max quake and he swapping a ho oh. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Did you just make the call? Show it to me. Ho oh, oh, come here, come here. I'm a god. I'm too good. I'm too good. I'm way too good. Get this ho oh out of my game. Get him on out of here. This is exactly why you boys been thinking a bit more up here when he plays his battles. And this is why we've been winning. I've been thinking a lot more before my turn. It might not be like a, a heck of a lot because you guys still see like I click my moves rather fast. But uh, I did take a, a, another split half a second just to think about the possibilities. I was about to drop the quake. I was ready for it, but I was just like, no, I know he has Ho Oh and he might swap into that. So this guy, we just outrun him. We just outplayed him. We just absolutely outplayed him. That was just 100% an outplay. 100% an outplay. That wasn't even luck. That was just that was just straight up skill. All outplaying our opponent. Get him on out of here. Get him on out of here. Drop a nice lovely expanded force. And I wonder what P2 is going for. I wonder what P2 is. Is P2 pop a trick room? P2, what are you doing? He's going to foul play on me. How dare you? That's not going to kill me, but still. But still. Foul play is super effective. I'm fine with that. Take some buckets. We are thriving. We are thriving out here. <laughs> we are thriving. What a start. What a start to battle number three. I came to play today. I came to play. I came to play. I came to play. He's gonna bring back out Incineroar. Uh, make another read. We make another read. We gotta go for Quake. I think Quake's just a safe play. Unless he wants to swap into Landers. <laughs> I think he has Xerneas in the back end. I think he has Xerneas. I don't think he has Landers. I don't think he has Landers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for Quake at this point. I'm gonna go for the Quake. Yeah, see, he's staying all day. He's gonna ally switch. Okay. This little ally switch. So he's still hit. I think PZ is going to, or P2 is going to go down here, which is totally fine. And hopefully he's just like flare blitzing into me. Because I can just pop policy at that point. Because P2 is going to take some damage here. Oh, no. Wow. He actually really outbulked that. He bulked that a lot more than I thought. I thought that combined with the expanded force should be able to take him out, but no. The solid ally switch. Expanded force can come through here. No effect on the Cinderwar, but it's still going to chip up onto the P2. The P2. So now that we predict an ally switch, that's a, that's a real call. He's gonna drop a flare butts into Indeedy. Uh, he knows I have weak policy and he doesn't want to pop it. He doesn't want to pop it. Buffett's uh might take us out. I didn't see how much it was doing with him. I don't think it will, is it? One. Awesome. Gorgeous. We love it. <laughs> we love it. We love it. E2's gonna take some uh buffet damage, and at this point. Uh just follow me this shot. Nah, we're just gonna go for the six man. And I'm not I don't think he's gonna ally switch again. I don't think he's gonna double down and ally switch. I do not think so. I don't think he's got the moxie to hit Alex switch again. I don't think he's got it in him. There's no way he has it in him. What did I tell you? He doesn't have it in him. <laughs> he doesn't have it in him. <laughs> Get him on out of here. This might kill him. May might not. It does. Double kill coming in hot. It, we might sweep. Actually, we can't sweep. Because my, my indeed is going to go down to Buffett's. Rest easy, indeed. Salute to it. Bring out the trumpets. <laughs> bring, out the, bring out the trumpets. We're gonna go for expanded force. That's gonna KO it, dude. This this battle's just a wash, dude. I saw my chance. It's just like, dude, we dump on everything. I has to offer. So gallant. We dump on everything, and then we start off with that amazing one of the best reads I had in a while. And uh, we kind of just take the battle from there. But here, I'm just gonna bring out Tornadus because I know you guys seen plenty of Kyogre, <laughs> and I think our opponent's just gonna throw out his last Pokemon, which is probably gonna be Xerneas and just cancel the battle, right? Is it, is it Deer? Is it the cool Deer Pokemon? Are you deering it? He's gonna deer it. That's GG's. That's GG's. That is G to the G's, man. Do have Sludge Bomb as well. Do have Sludge Bomb. Lovely little Sludge Bomb. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna Sludge Bomb. I'm just gonna go for a Sun Seal Strike. He cannot pick up any KOs on me. Unless he Dynamaxes and hits my Thunders. But he just cancels battle. Perfect record. One last shout out to my dude, Adam. Adam, huge shout out to you for sending this team. Absolutely loved it, and I did way better than I thought I was going to do. Grabbed ourselves a perfect record and dominated every single battle. We were just outplaying our opponents, making some great calls, and grabbing ourselves a win there. Strongest was definitely fun to use. We got the rock out of the Soul Galio, and obviously, that Kyogre just worked. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.